So, in today's video, we're going to be looking at the firmware updates that are available for this keyboard because one of the functions is actually missing. So, if you check here on the home key, there is a separate function available with it, just like it's there with insert. But for some reason, it doesn't work when you press function and then you press home. Nothing changes. So for today we'll be discussing that and we'll also look at the upcoming software that's going to be available with this keyboard after a couple of weeks. So now let's take a look at how we will download the new firmware to enable that feature. So if you check on my video I've given the link just open that link these are the steps and these are the updation files that you need to carry out two steps so here are all the steps go over them carefully and carry out each one of them and you'll be able to change the lighting effects using the function and home button so let's download all of these files direct download Once they've downloaded, just go to your download folder. Extract all. Extract in the same place. Just wait for it to extract. Now they've extracted. Just open this, the application file. More info. If you get something like this, just press the run anyway and make sure you disable your make sure you disable your uh, antivirus so that you won't you will be able to download it rather than antivirus just blocking this out because this is a third party application so now just wait for it to finish verifying it and it's done so now that I've updated the firmware I'll show you what that actually looks like so before it was just function and insert to change all these different modes but as I cycle through them one of the modes one of the mode types is missing so the mode where you press a key and then that key lights up or the keys around it lights up or the row lights up so that mode has now been shifted to function plus home so there there's one and if you press function and home again you get another one and function and home again and you get the one where it does it for the rows so it hasn't added any new lighting effects as such but it has just shifted them to this key so if you want to easily access this specific type of lighting effect then you can just press function and home and you can get that and now let's take a look at the new software that has been rumored to come up for this keyboard so now let me show you the update that will come for this keyboard which will provide you a software so that you can control this keyboard it's very simple just go into cosmic bytes website search up cosmic byte go into their official website check out their gaming keyboard section and go onto the cbgk 16 firefly keyboard now if you scroll down next to that reviews there is a questions section and if you check in the question section one of the questions was can the RGB be changed manually through any software and Cosmic Byte has replied that the software will be released in approximately two weeks so after two weeks I think we should see a software that will be available for this keyboard and I will make a video about that and that was it for today thank you for watching take care bye